Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So, John Deere X300. Mower's in good shape. There's no real big problems. It has stopped running. So, this is a lady that I help out some. It's a mower. So, it definitely needs an oil change, which that's a given. Okay, I noticed a lot of crap. I just changed this fuel filter. Sorry if it'll focus here. You can see all the crap in the inside of that fuel filter already. Just changed it, literally drove it 300 yards up to the building here. So, I was noticing that the fuel pump wasn't pumping the fuel. Sorry about the bright light. But the fuel pump wasn't pumping the fuel to keep it running. So I thought it was the gas line maybe collapsing where it's an older one. But after examining the gas line there. Examination of the gas line I should say. Gas line was fine. The crap was coming from the gas tank. For some reason... No matter, and I could, I could get it running off a of fever and hold my finger to it, and I could feel it sucking. So I knew it was getting the fuel through. But this is a top draw, meaning it sucks through the top of the tank from this pump, goes to the carburetor. Okay, and this is the one with the Kawasaki V twin on it. So. After closer looking around, I took the whole fender assembly, seat assembly, all that off. It's pretty simple, really. The deck adjustment just pops straight up out of it. Then you have a bolt right here that goes down through this foot rail. Same on the other side. Then you'll have one bolt that goes in the beauty panel fender piece right there. Sticks in right there. Then you'll have one bolt here. One bolt here on the fender. And then one more right here in this rest in between these pedals. And then it'll raise up like this. I took the pads off of the forge in reverse so I could raise it up higher so after looking through it closer this guy's slime let it focus here sorry this gas line is in good shape no problems with it it's not rotted it's not pitted nothing like it I could see and I blowed through it and it's not clogged so, I finally found out where all my dirt was getting in the gas tank. So, I didn't notice this until I pulled the tank completely off. As I said, it's a top pickup. So, it sucks in from right here, pulls it to the mower. Well, kept having fuel filter after fuel filter after fuel filter clog. And there's, make sure y'all can see this. There's my problem. The gas cap insert has broken off of the gas tank itself so weird I've never seen never seen one break this way before so as you're mowing this sets just a little bit forward so that gap right there was letting dirt get down in the gas tank and this is why she's been replacing fuel filter after fuel filter after fuel filter after fuel filter on this thing. Because the gas tank was broke. So, I looked on eBay and Amazon. You can get that tank from anywhere from 50 bucks to 120 bucks shipped. Just depending on what you need. And then... Got to get the oil changed in this thing and get it back up running, blade sharpened, and all that stuff for her. 
But I just figured I would share that with y'all. Show you how to take the gas tank off of this thing. And if you keep having fuel issues, where the I gotta take the carburetor off and clean it because it's got a bunch of gunk in it too. And this thing sat outside this building for a year and a half or so. So all that water that was in the fuel line was in the carburetor and everything else. So now it's time for the massive cleanup. Y'all have a great day. God bless. And if you ain't, like and subscribe. Because I'll have little how-to videos and what I found out, what's wrong with stuff, and stuff like this. And there's your identification plate. Just in case y'all need it for anything. But... Y'all have a great day.